It's March 8th, 2018, and this is your scripture reading and devotional for today. The scripture reading today is Leviticus 27, John 1, 1 through 34, Psalm 33, 7 through 13, and Proverbs 6, 25 to 27. The devotional today is another clip from the lesson, Seven Abominations, from Proverbs 6, 16 to 19. He hates murder. We know uh, uh, murder is there in the uh, Ten Commandments. Uh, uh, you shall not commit murder, it says in Exodus 20 and verse 13. And, and you know, sometimes people try to apply that to, to taking life in any way, whether, you know, even if it's uh, uh, law enforcement, uh, having to take a life to, to, to stop a crime, for example, or soldiers on the battlefield taking lives. And they say, well, see, that, that's against uh, uh, what God said. Well, you know, the word there in Exodus chapter 20, verse 13, does not mean uh, just taking life or, or, or killing. Uh, didn't God himself say that whoever sheds man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed? And God himself implemented the death penalty for, for certain crimes, including being disrespectful to parents. Let that sink in. If any of those Hebrew kids were disrespectful to their parents, they were supposed to be stoned. So God instituted the death penalty for, for, for certain crimes. So certainly, the word there doesn't mean taking of life in any way. It means murder. The willful, premeditated taking of another person's life uh, uh, in their innocence. As uh, Proverbs uh, 6 and verse 17 says, Hands that shed innocent blood. That's murder. This person is not dying because of, of something that they have done. They haven't uh, committed a crime and put themselves in harm's way because of a crime they were committing and they lost their life that way. That's not what that's talking about. That's not talking about people engaged in warfare, no. That's not talking about uh, someone who is being judiciously executed by the law. No, that's talking about an innocent person that has their life taken from them by a wicked person, by a murderer. That's murder. And if you go through the Bible and you look up the word violent or violence, it goes right along with this, what the Lord hates. Why, why, why did the flood come upon the earth? Because the earth was filled with violence. Why did God judge Judah? Because Manasseh had filled the land with blood. The land was full of violence. Violence, that kind of, of uh, violent mentality. Hurting each other. Being, being destructive to each other, murder, taking innocent life. It's contrary to the character of God. And he hates it. You see the first murder there in Genesis chapter 4, beginning with verse 8, with Cain and Abel. And God told Cain, your brother's blood cries out to me. That is, Abel was, was innocent. And Cain killed him out of envy, out of pride, out of uh, 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 anger, wrath, because God accepted Abel and not Cain. And God said his blood cried out to him from the ground, cried out for judgment, and brought a curse on Cain. Look over at Matthew chapter 23, beginning with verse 34. And Jesus says there, Therefore indeed I send you prophets, wise men, and scribes. Some of them you will kill and crucify, and some of them you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from city to city, that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel. That's why Cain killed Abel. Because he was righteous, his works were righteous, and Cain's were wicked. From the blood of righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. 
God hates it. It's disgust. The, the, the taking of innocent life is disgusting to him. And what a, what a national shame it is. What a national blight it is that every day innocent blood flows. As that word shed uh, means there, be made to flow, that the, the, the innocent blood of thousands of unborn children are, is shed in this country every day. How, how much more innocent could a person be than an unborn child? And yet, we have in, in our country legislated murder, the willful taking of innocent life, how can, how can we pray and ask God to bless our country when at the same time we're praying that innocent blood is being shed so willfully and, and blatantly? It's disgusting. It's a, it's, it's a blight on mankind today. We need to be doing more to turn people away from it because God hates murder. It's disgusting to him. And wicked plotting. It says there in Proverbs chapter 6 and verse uh, 18, a heart that devises wicked plans. This is talking about, about somebody, you know, we, we know the word heart there. It's talking about a person's mind. And they're plotting in their mind. They're thinking about ways to do wicked things. Wicked plotting. As he says there, heart that devises wicked plans. Uh, like uh, Judas Iscariot came up with this wicked plot uh, of turning Jesus over to his persecutors. And he became the betrayer of Christ. That, that's a great example of wicked plotting. He, he, he thought up this plan. And when it didn't go the way that he thought it would go, in his own thinking, as he plotted that wickedness in his own mind, it didn't go the way that he thought it would go. He tried to take the money back, but it was too late. The damage was done. And he went out and committed suicide because of his wicked plotting. Uh, that's not the kind of mindset that is characteristic of a child of God. To think up wicked things. No, we're, we're supposed to be expanding, uh, expending our mental energies on how to do good. How to do good things. How to, how to spread the gospel. How to benefit people. How to help people. Not trying to think up ways to get what we want. That's what Judas was doing. He was, he was trying to get what he wanted. He wanted Jesus to throw the Romans out of, out of uh, uh, Judah. And to restore Israel as a world power the way it was under David and Solomon. But that's not the kind of Savior that Jesus was. That's not the kind of Messiah He came to be. And so uh, Judas's wicked plotting didn't work out the way that he thought it was going to. And he committed suicide because that's the, that's the way he thought. That was his mindset. And we go on there. And it says, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift in running to evil. And the, the, the picture there of this person is, is almost comical. If it wasn't so disgusting, it would be funny that this is a person that when he sees an opportunity to do something evil, to do something bad, man, he's going to jump up and he's going to run right into that. Look, here's, here's, here's somebody I can defraud over here. Let me run over there and try to scam that person out of their money. Uh, here's somebody I can beat and rob. Here, I'm going to run over there and go and beat. His uh, feet are swift to running to do evil things. You contrast that to what it says in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 10, where it says, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all. It's the same kind of uh, imagery there. As we have opportunity. Let us do good to all. That is, we're, we're, we're looking for opportunities to do good things, whereas this person in Proverbs chapter 6 is looking for opportunities to do evil things. And the Lord hates it. Be sure to post your thoughts from today's reading in the comment section below.